Hi, this is Dr. J. Kim. I'm a facial plastic surgeon in Fairfax, Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C. Today I'd like to talk to you about residency rank list. The submission deadline date is coming up. It's February 26, which is a very important date for all fourth year medical students across the country. This is the date that you have to finalize your preference of residency programs and where you would like to go for the next several years. I applied for residency more than a few years ago and I'd like to share with you some of the factors that I considered when ranking my residency program list. The first factor, location. If you come from a big city, chances are you may want to go back to a big city for your residency training. This is because during the little off time that you have, you want to be able to enjoy it. And a big city might have activities that you're familiar with or that you would like. Regardless of the size of the city that you're comfortable with, make sure that you have a support system where you'd like to go for residency. This can be your friends, your family, or a loved one. You will need to lean on them when you have a rough day at work or when something goes wrong or when life just happens. The next factor is the size of the program. The overall size of programs across specialties may depend on the nature of the specialty. For example, internal medicine programs will generally be larger. Contrast that with a dermatology or head and neck surgery or a neurosurgery program where you might be the only resident in your class or you might have one or two co-residents in your class. What does that mean for you? Well, it means that if you have fewer residents, you'll probably take more call. But the trade-off is that you will likely be more close-knit with your co-residents. If you're in a large residency program, you will likely take less call. But remember that you may not be as close with all of your co-residents as you'd like to be. The next factor is overall morale of the current residents at the program. Usually the night before an interview, there is a social event where you can meet current applicants and residents and get a feel for the program. It's at that time you can get a feel for how happy the residents are. If the residents don't look happy to be there, you may want to consider another program. But if the residents are inviting and happy to be there and you can get a feel of their overall friendship with each other, then that is a good sign and you may want to rank that program more highly. The next factor applies more to residency specialties that involve procedures or surgery, and that is the amount of time spent in the operating room. Current residents will give you an idea of how much time they spend in the operating room by showing you their case logs. This is a record of what types of surgeries they have performed and how many times they have performed it and in what role they've performed it. There are generally three types of roles when logging a case. You've either assisted, performed, or supervised certain cases. The latter two are what count when it comes to residency case logs. If someone is nearing the end of their residency and they haven't performed or supervised enough cases, that is a red flag and you would want to consider another program. The program I went to at the University of Buffalo, the residents were finishing up their case numbers that they performed and supervised well before their final year and that is why I rank the program highly. So please consider that if you are applying for a surgical residency. Another factor to consider is research during residency. If you like research and did a lot of it during medical school, you may want to continue to pursue that during residency. Some programs may have more systems built in that are more conducive to churning out more hardcore research and this may be the right program for you. However, remember that at the end of the day, how you decide to shape your career, whether it's research heavy or clinical heavy, is largely up to you. 
When compiling your rank list, one thing I would advise you not to do is play a guessing game as to where the residency program you want to go to will rank you. The simple way to do this is just to rank them in order of your preference. Don't try to guess the algorithm and figure out, will this program rank me highly or will that program rank me highly? Just go with your gut and trust your judgment and the process will land you where you should be. This is Dr. J. Kim. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more videos about medical education and other topics, including facial plastic surgery. Have a wonderful day.